Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be filming a library haul. I haven't done one of these in quite a while. I went to the library recently and I got like, I got four books. So I decided to share them with you today. And yeah, let's just get into the video. So the first book I have is Friend Request by Laurel Marshall. This book is a thriller and I've had it on my TBR for absolutely ages. Like, if you go on my Goodreads, it's one of the first books that I've, like, marked as want to read. And I can't really remember, like, when I heard about it or when I started wanting to read it. But I've definitely, like, wanted to read it for absolutely ages. So I just picked it up on a whim and just hoped it's, like, what I wanted before when I put it on my TBR. So it's basically about this girl called Maria, who's been dead for 25 years. And this girl, like, used to, like, I don't know if it's, like, exactly being mean to her, but Marie wanted to be friends with her. And, like, they just weren't friends. And it's been 25 years since she's died. And now she's friend requesting her. And this girl's obviously creeped out by that because the girl's meant to be dead. And it's basically a thriller. And I'm kind of scared. Because <laughs> I don't want to be reading it late at night and I get nightmares. So... Let's hope it's not as scary as I think it's going to be. But the yeah. next one is All the Lonely People by David Owen. And this book was on my most anticipated releases of 2019. And when I saw it at the library, I knew I had to just pick it up. It's basically about this girl called Kat, who has a really big online presence. And on like line, she's all like optimistic and really positive. But people keep telling her that's not her true self. But she loves it because it's just a time for her to get away and be with other people, make friends with online friends. And then something happens where she's part of this trolling campaign and people are hating on her. And she's like, I know what to do. And she decides her only like option is to just delete everything and going back to be like, under not undercover, but like under wraps if that makes sense and i'm excited i feel like this is a really like relevant book to the kind of time we live in so i was excited when i heard about it and i can't wait to get to it and the third one is called villain by michael grant and this is based so basically there's a series called the gone series and i absolutely adore that series of six books and the first one's gone. The second one, I can't remember what the second one's called. I only remember that the last one's called Light. So the first one's called Gone and the last one's called Light. And Gone is about when all the adults disappear and the kids are left to fend for themselves. And they create this place called the Phase. And they have to like fend for themselves and then you like grow all over the whole series. And eventually, I hope this is a spoiler. But anyway, this series is, the first book of this was Monster and now it's Villain. And this is basically their lives after the first series happened. So it, and it also follows new kids, but it links it to kids that were in the phase in the first series. And like, yeah, that's the best I can explain it without trying to spoil anything for anyone that will read the series again or for the first time so that's what this book is about and I'm really excited personally I think I enjoyed the Gone series more than I enjoyed the first book of this series Monster but I think it's kind of I feel like it'll pick up hopefully because Michael Gwan's actually a really good author and I really think his writing's really different but also really good and like the Gone series like everyone <laughs> I knew that read read it in school so we just all like talked about it and we all really enjoyed it and it's definitely a good series like it's really good character building and really good like you know when they build a character so well that you get so attached and you sort of feel like it's real and it's also really bad because you just cry all the time and you're really upset when something bad happens that's the gun series <laughs> and the last book i got was all the rage by courtney summers um i think this was on my tbr on goodreads but I didn't realise that it was on there. So when I saw it, 
and I realised it was on there, I just picked it up and I don't even remember ever putting this on there but it was there so I did pick it up and it's basically about this girl called Romy who like wears lipstick as like her barrier and like protection kind of thing um after she was raped and obviously that like took a hit to her self-confidence and that lipstick is what keeps her going but she like wants to speak out but she's scared also because the boy that raped her is really like seen as a golden boy in the town and everyone like has a certain respect for him but then when this other girl goes missing at a party she realizes she has to speak up or else her silence could cost someone else their life basically so it's this like emotional pull for her of whether she's because she's not ready to speak up but she has to speak up or else it could harm another person and she doesn't want that to be due to her so it's this like moral dilemma like she wants to protect herself but she also wants to help someone else and she wants to speak out and honestly i think this sounds like a really good book and a book that is gonna pull out our strings and i'm excited to read it and i can already see myself crying and yeah so those are the four books i got from the library and honestly i love using the library because it means i don't have to spend any money and also i have like a large amount of books open to me in comparison to what i have on my shelf so yeah so if you like this video remember to give it a thumbs up comment down below if you've any of these or any books that you got from the library recently um remember to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video